Before that, the new RAF Museum has finally landed. It's still based at the historic airfield near Hendon, which was instrumental during the Battle of Britain. But it's had a major revamp, costing more than £25 million. Sam Holder had a tour before its reopening this weekend. The oldest air force in the world is now 100. And to celebrate a £26 million upgrade for the place that tells its story. Opening the new look RAF Museum today and arriving in a Royal Air Force helicopter, of course, Prince Edward. He was able to try out some of the new interactive displays, a hit with students from the nearby St. James's School. I thought it was very cool. Like You could see all the aeroplanes and also that big table where we got to debate. I think it's really interesting and a much better way to learn for young people. I like how they've changed it and made it extremely interactive now. Did you feel inspired then? I felt extremely inspired. The museum promises to tell the stories of the people behind the aircraft as well as the magnificent machines themselves. So Nina, you're in charge of the archive here and I understand a big part of the exhibition is on the role of women in the RAF. That's right, yes. Women have served with the RAF throughout its history and in the new exhibitions we're telling their stories. Here we have Constance Babington-Smith who served with the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. You see in this case um, a selection of cameras which were used um, by the aircraft undertaking reconnaissance roles. Constance Babington-Smith and her team um, studied them and um, located or confirmed the V1 bomber sites in Germany. Charles Clark was a prisoner of war at Sagan, the setting of the Great Escape. This was his tag from the camp. Considering your experiences, do you find that the museum is a fitting tribute to 100 years of the RAF? I think it's a remarkable tribute. I mean, the, the standard of uh, exhibition and showmanship, and I think it's outstanding. The museum opens tomorrow. Sam Holder, ITV News. There were warnings today.